In this video, I'm going to show you how to write, edit, and run your JavaScript code. I'm also going to talk about the difference between text editors and IDEs. We're also going to see how you can write JavaScript code inline and link it externally. Let's get started. Now, in order to edit and run your JavaScript code, you'll need a text editor or an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. The difference between a text editor and Integrated Development Environment is Integrated Development Environment provides things like error checking, code navigation, code completion, debugging, syntax highlighting, and other goodies. However, a lot of text editors, such as Sublime Text, uh, come with plugins and already do things like syntax highlighting. I personally like to use VI or Vim, which has a slightly harder learning curve, but it comes with every Unix distribution. But you can just get something like Sublime Text, very popular editor, or Atom. There's also things like WebStorm. So we basically just need to open an editor. I will use VI. I'm in the folder Dev Delight right now. You should open your own folder and start following along and saving the files in that folder. I will do this in VI through the console. As you can see, I'm in Dev Delight as well. So create index HTML and here we'll just use the standard tags to create an HTML file so in order to write our first JavaScript code we'll need to use script tags inside the HTML this is inline JavaScript so the first function we're going to use in JavaScript is alert. Alert basically prompts a message to a user. Major concept alert. Now you want to save this file. And it should appear in a folder. Let's open it now. As you can see, JavaScript, it popped up. It said major concept alert. All right, so our JavaScript executed successfully. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to write JavaScript code using external JS file. And why do we want to do that instead of writing it in line? Well, there are many reasons. One of the first reasons is you want to separate your view which is your presentation from all the logic. Okay. Second is if you're going to be reusing the same JavaScript file, you don't want to keep copying and pasting the script. You can have just one file that you can include everywhere else. All right. So let's create another file and we'll call it JavaScript alert. Let's just name it alert JS. Okay. Let me actually open both files side by side. So we can just copy that alert into our alert.js, save. Now to, to link your JavaScript file, alert.js.js, we should use a special command, which is src. alert.js and that's how you link it and whatever is in the JavaScript file it will get executed so make sure to save index.html make sure to save alert.js and let's just change this to display something else just so we know it worked let's say four exclamation points now in our folder, you'll see we have alert.js. Let's open the browser, refresh that page. 
major concept alert for exclamation points. Now you know how to write and run your JavaScript code, how to write it inline inside the HTML file and how to link it externally and execute it through the browser. If you like this video, subscribe, click like and leave me a comment. Tell me what is your favorite text editor when you write JavaScript code?